All right, here's a quick example on how to do a targeted email campaign using scope leads. And it works in so many different niches and so many different keywords. So these projects are going to be window replacement projects. And once you set up your profile with your outgoing email and stuff like that, it's going to take you about 20, 30 minutes to get it uh, set up properly. Then you can go ahead and do a campaign. Let's just run through one real quick. Okay. Do a new campaign for an example. So let's say. Uh, Winter replacement San Francisco. This is just for my knowledge of what this is. So that's our campaign. So we have our campaign here. We go to new search. And then we can target sites based on these things. So if we have if our if we offer a social media <coughs> um, SEO package, we can target sites that have social lacking, SEO lacking, schema lacking, AdWords lacking if we're a paper call company or if we're all the above we can you know use these different things for targeted uh, email campaigns. So for example I'll just do uh, SEO lacking, keywords, window, replacement, and then location, San Francisco and it'll pop up what you're looking for. So let's just go for the city here click next and then um, so there's two scope leads when you get scope leads then they're gonna try to upsell you to the pro version which you really need to get all the automation and everything so just a heads up if you do buy the product you're gonna need the pro version also so we're gonna go with an auto campaign and we have a sequence we have some sequences already made I'll show you one of those also but let's go proof in the pudding sequence click finish All right. And it'll automatically start um, finding companies that come up for this keyword that have SEO lacking. And it'll email the campaigns that, I mean, the sequences that I've already set forth. So let's look at one sequence here. This is the proof in the pudding sequence. And you can do multiple emails. So send one email. And then based on if they did check it or didn't check it, didn't open it, then you can send more. So for this sequence, we have you know subject title here some information some landing pages um, an image showing some results okay and then send one day after this is going to be a, se a separate email sent and if the prospect does open the first email then I'm going to send them this email which is kind of another sales email one day later okay so it's a little little different setup so I can try out some multiple uh, setups here and I've already gotten a few customers using this and I, I don't use it too often uh, I'd say I send out a campaign like three times a week because you only send out a certain amount before it tells you you know hey don't send out too many you don't want to be blocked by uh, Gmail and all the other stuff so you can probably send out about 60 80 emails a day without having uh, any trouble so this one has another email also if they don't open the second email then it'll wait three days and send it to them one more time Okay, and they have a ton of free uh, options in here, these merge fields, so you can really customize them per company. So you can say, hi there, who's in charge of the marketing at, and it'll replace that company with uh, the merge fields. It's pretty nice. This one's all done. And then you also have a, uh, this is going to be a fake audit video. So it's an image of their website with a little video thing here. And you can tell them you made them a website audit. And then if they reply to you, then you can actually do it. But you don't have to make it for all of them. And I, I do them all the time anyway. I make little five-minute video audits for websites. So I like using this because I actually do do that. So when they receive this email, it'll be a picture of their website with that, which is really nice. Makes it uh, just extra personalized. Let's head back over that campaign and see how it's doing. Okay, so it found 35 leads. Here's some of the companies that found their address, phone number, and it does the best job to find the, the right email. And sometimes it, it'll come up with a warning, like if it's probably you know, not an email that's set up or anything, so it won't send them that. And then also, what this is, I've already emailed all these San Francisco companies with, with this before, so 
it's going to block them because it doesn't want you spamming anybody, which is nice. So that way, you know, you're not sending people 40 emails. So we're not, so I've already sent most of these emails out. That's why these are showing up. I should have picked a city that I didn't do, but it still found a few other companies and sent them that email right here. Sent, sent, sent. So when they respond, it'll just be in my regular email as a lead and we can move forward from there as far as, you know, letting them know what services you're going to offer them. All right. So I, I definitely recommend scope leads. If, if you're a small firm or a consultant and you're looking for local clients, this can just automate the process by finding companies that are lacking in what you can sell. So if you do videos and then look for companies lacking video and you can do it for any niche, instead of putting window replacement, you could do electrical contracting, uh, mold removal, whatever the kind of companies you're trying to find, carpet cleaning, window washing, whatever, just put those in as the keywords, the location you want to target, and then start uh, finding new clients. All right, thanks a lot.